guys, so I'm here to change Jeremy out of his Halloween costume and into something a little more warm. I'm going to put him in this thermal onesie that I love so much. It's from his Auntie Melissa. And I'm going to match it with some brown pants. And while I change him, I thought I would start a controversial topic or a hot topic and um, I've never really done this before. <laughs> um, I usually try to stay away from controversial type things. Um, but this one has been weighing on me for a while now and I thought it would be an interesting topic. And it basically came about um, from some comments that I received. Um, I think I, it happened about two or maybe even three times now. Um, <laughs> and it was all on the, um, video of the fourth day of the Rose Doll Show where we filmed, um, Julie Malloy's booth and we showed the um, live birth video uh, and showed her newest silicone where you can choose the gender like it had where you could remove the penis and replace it with a vagina and vice versa um, depending on what sex you wanted your doll to be and uh, a couple of people commented saying, and, and, and let me just say this, the ones that commented were actually doll collectors themselves. Like they were into the dolls, but they were just basically voicing their opinion on a, on a subject matter. Um, they were wondering why it seems that any of the sculpts, whether it be vinyl or silicone, where, where it has like a belly plate or a full body, um, where you see the boy bits, you know, the penis, um, <laughs> they were wondering, why is it that all of these sculpts seem to be circumcised? <laughs> Um, and it was an interesting point. Like, I, I guess I never really paid attention to it. I never really noticed it before because I don't really tend to look at that. Um, but they were just saying that, you know, nowadays, um, I believe nowadays circumcision is becoming, um, less of a thing. Um, I mean, obviously there's religions like Jewish and whatever that still do it. Um, but I, from what I have read on the subject matter, um, it seems like less people are doing it nowadays to their babies. Um, and because research has showed that there's not much benefit to it really. Um, in fact, it can cause more issues from what I've read. Um, and so it was just interesting that someone brought this up and they were wondering why it is that, you know, they're all circumcised when a lot of people nowadays are against circumcision of babies. <laughs> and uh, so I just thought it would be an interesting topic to, to talk about. Um, I don't know, like, what do you guys think about it? Um, have you, have you guys noticed it yourself? What are your feelings on it? Um, personally myself, like, I'm not really phased by it because it's a doll. It's not a real baby. But, I mean, if you are looking at the artistic side of things and sculpting from a real live baby... Um, I guess to diversify the sculpts out there, it wouldn't hurt to have 
some sculpts that are sculpted that are uncircumcised because it just adds that realism. Um, you know, I mean, heck, if you even wanted to look at it like this is a newborn baby that was literally just born. Well, obviously a boy is going to be born with his foreskin. He's not going to be circumcised right away at birth. Um, it's usually a couple of days after or whatever, you know. Um, so, I, I don't know. I just thought it was, it was a really interesting comment. Um, they kind of said it in a snooty way. Um, that didn't need to be said in that way. But it did get me thinking, and I thought it would be an interesting topic to bring up. Um, I'm just going to grab some socks for this little guy, and I'll be right back. Okay. That's one thing. I don't know why it is, but I always forget to grab socks when I do my changes. It's always like during the video that I realize, oh, I forgot the socks, or like after I finish the video that I'm like, oh, they're barefoot and their toes look cold. <laughs> So I got him some little brown socks. They're nice thick socks for the war the cold weather. Keep his toes warm. Look at all your aunties and uncles out there. Say hi. Hi everybody. Mwah, mwah, mwah. <laughs> oh, he is just so cute, guys. Look at him. But um, yeah, anyways, I'm just going to basically leave you guys with this topic and if you want to make a video um, talking about your feelings on the subject matter feel free or just comment below join in the discussion I don't know I just thought it was an interesting it, it was brought up at least two or three times on that one video by different people um, so <laughs> I just thought it was an interesting thing um, I believe when I was a child, um, I had an anatomically correct baby doll that was a boy and I don't recall him being circumcised. Um, he was fully intact if memory serves. I do believe he was because I know that when I was a child and my cousins were born they were circumcised as babies and so I only ever knew what they looked like from when I would see my aunt change their diapers and I remember when I got my baby doll I thought his little boy bits looked different and strange because <laughs> it was different than what I knew um so I I'm pretty sure that doll was not a circumcised sculpt so I believe they do exist but they seem to be very few of those um, so I don't know why that is I don't know if you guys have any insight as to why you think that is or just do you think that um, sculptors should start you know if they're doing full body you know start including uh, uncircumcised boy bits. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a weird topic, I guess. But like I said, I had these comments and I thought it would be interesting to talk about. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll be interested to see if any of you guys want to take part in the discussion and what your thoughts are. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. I wanted to answer the tag. Um, this is an older tag. I know I'm late to the game, but I wanted to take part. And it's about the breastfeeding doll um, that is out now for children. And basically, you know, like how do people feel about breastfeeding dolls and also breastfeeding reborns in role play. So first off, I want to talk about the actual toy doll.